Hello everybody, today we will be creating a dice roller program in Python. We will be utilizing some ASCII art. I'll post all of the ASCII art that we'll need in the description of this video. You can copy and paste it to save time if you'd like. Alright, let's get started everybody. We will begin by importing the random module because we will be rolling some random numbers between 1 through 6. If we're going to create some ASCII art, we'll be utilizing Unicode characters. To enter in a Unicode character, it really varies depending on your operating system. I think the easiest way would just be to use Python. To enter a Unicode character, type a forward slash, then a given code for each character. Here are all of the codes that we'll need. After writing these seven Unicode characters, let's run this program. These symbols that are output, let's copy them. I'll add them to a comment. Then we can delete this line. These are the Unicode characters we'll need to build some ASCII art, some dice. Each die will be made out of five lines. Let's begin with the first. We'll need a left corner, nine dashes, then the right corner. For the second line, Copy this vertical bar, add nine spaces, then a vertical bar. We can copy this whole line, paste it two times. Let's use the left bottom corner, add a nine of these dashes, then the bottom right corner. And here's a basic box shape. Depending on what the number die is, we can add one of these bullet points. For a 1, we can add that right to the middle. So that's good for now. We'll delete this later. Let's create a dictionary. I will name this dictionary Dice Art. Our dictionary is made out of key value pairs. So the keys will be the numbers 1 through 6. Beginning with 1, the value will be a tuple. It's a dictionary made out of key value pairs where the value is a tuple. Within the tuple, Let's add these lines, each separated with a comma. I'm going to format these so they form a box shape. Let's take our bullet point, place it right in the middle, then add a comma to the end of this key value pair. That is the first key value pair. Let's copy all of this. Paste it again, change one to two. Let's move this bullet point. We need two bullet points. About right here and here. Let's repeat this process for keys three through six. Be sure to get rid of the comma at the end. And here is our dictionary of dice art. Each key is a number, each value is a tuple made of strings. Let's create a list of dice. Our dice will be numbers, randomly generated between 1 and 6. A total, to calculate the total, I'll set that to be 0. Then we will ask a user for a number of dice. This will be some input. How many dice? Then typecast the input as an integer. We don't want somebody to write, you know, 2.5 dice. You can't roll half a die. To generate a random number, you can use the randint method of the random module. We need a random number between 1 and 6. Then we need to append this number to our list of dice. Dice dot append, then we can move this line to within the append method. We need to do this a number of times depending on how many dice the user enters in. We can place this line within a for loop. For every die in our range, 
number of dice. This will be a number. Let's print our list of dice to see what numbers we have in here. How many dice? I would like five dice. Five, three, three, four, six. Okay, we know that that works. Let's calculate a total. We'll need to iterate and sum all of the elements within our list. We can do that with the for loop. For every die in our list dice, take our total variable plus equals the current value within our dice. Then we will print a total. I'll use an F string, total colon space, our total variable. Let's see what we have so far. How many dice? I would like five dice. Our total is 19. Now between these two for loops, we will display our ASCII art. The easiest way would be to create some nested for loops. The outer for loop will be in charge of the number of dice. For every die in our range, number of dice. The inner for loop will be in charge of printing every tuple. For every line in, then to get a value in our dictionary, we would type the name of the dictionary, dice art, then use the get method. What are we getting? We're getting a value at a given key. Let's take our list of numbers, dice, at index of die, our counter. Depending on what the user types in for the number of dice, die will begin at one, then increment. Within the inner for loop, we will print the line. So let's take a look. How many dice? I would like three dice. And here's our ASCII art. Six plus two plus four, that equals 12. If you would prefer, we can display all of these dice on a single horizontal line instead of one vertical line. It's a little more tricky though. If you would prefer that approach, let's turn this chunk of code into comments. We will write this nested loop a little different. So each tuple is made up of five elements, right? So if we're printing a horizontal line, let's say we roll the numbers one through three, we would first need to display this line of the first dice, then the first line of the second dice, then the first line of the third dice. During the next iteration of the outer loop, we would display the second line of the first dice, the second line of the second dice, the second line of the third dice. So it's a little more complex. Let's create an outer loop that will iterate five times for every line in range five. Then the nested loop will be for every die in dice. How many dice do we have within our list? We will print. We're going to get one of the values found at one of the numbers that we roll. Take our dictionary of dice art dot get, then a number one through six. That will be the value found within our list of dice. Get the current die. Remember that this is a number one through six. We would then need one of the elements found within our tuple. So get the first line, then the second line, third, fourth, fifth. So let's add the index operator, place our counter of line within the index operator. Let's see what we have so far. We need to add one more thing. How many dice? Three. This is an abomination. There's one more change we need to make. At the end of our print statement, let's set the ending character to be an empty string. And that should fix that. How many dice? Three. Okay, we're getting better results. Then when we escape the inner loop, we will print a new line. How many dice? Three. And there we are. Three plus six plus one is 10. All right, everybody, so that is a dice roller program. It is kind of complex, but I thought this might be a good exercise. 
If you would like a copy of this code, I will post all of this in the comments section down below. And well, yeah, that's a dice roller program in Python.